Hi everyone, it's Veronica and this is the final step in this interaction. So the thing we want to do now is create our results screen. So firstly, you can see I've got all my prizes here scattered on the screen. So what I want to do is line them up, line them up nicely in the display box there. So I'll just put up all my correct prize images first up there and I want to make sure that they're nicely lined up. I'll do this very quickly but uh, obviously you want to make sure that they're all lined up correctly. So I'll just use my tools there, distribute horizontally. So now that they're in a good spot that I'm pretty happy with, um, I want to line up the incorrect prize for each of the codes and I just want to put it, I want to line it up with its equivalent correct prize. So the incorrect and the correct prize for code 1 would be the basketball and the calculator. So I'll just line them up together like that and I'll do that for all of them. Okay, so now they're all lined up on top of each other and what we want to do next is change the initial state of each of those to hidden. Now unfortunately we can't do that in, in, a, in a batch. We have to do each one individually. So I'll just do all the top ones first there and just change them all to hidden and then I'll just use my timeline to change the state on the ones that are sitting underneath which are a little bit hard to get to when you've got something sitting on top of them so I'll just do all of these there we go that's all of them done now so you can see they're grayed out now just to indicate that the initial state is hidden now the next thing we want to do is add some triggers. So I've got the first one done there already and this one applies to the basketball which is the correct prize for the first code for cracking it correctly. So the trigger is going to say change the state of prize one correct basketball to normal because remember the initial state is hidden so we want to change it to normal when the timeline reaches three seconds. So I've staggered these to come in at different points in the timeline. Of course you can do that however you like and ho however you think it's going to look the best. And then we want to add a condition that says only change it to normal if the variable prize code correct is equal to a value of true. Now if you recall from the blog post this uh, variable is set to false by default. The initial state of the variable is false. But when the learner answers the code correctly, they will go to the correct feedback screen for that question and the variable will be adjusted to true in that instance. So if the variable is true, then go ahead and change the state to normal. So we're going to add this trigger for each of the correct answer prizes. So here I've got all my triggers for the correct prizes they will all change to a normal state when the timeline reaches a particular point and the right variable is equal to true. Now what I need to do is set some triggers for the incorrect prizes. So let's start with the first one which is the calculator for code 1. So change the state of calculator to normal when the timeline reaches, that one was 3 seconds, on the condition and this is what's going to be different that prize code correct the variable prize code correct code 1 is equal to false this time because if you recall when we added our triggers to adjust the prize variables we didn't put one on the incorrect feedback layer so the variable will stay false meaning that the learner has answered that question incorrectly so we need to do this now for all of the incorrect prizes so here are my five triggers for the incorrect prizes starting with a calculator and the paper plane next and so on. So that's pretty much it. Make sure you test it and make sure that everything is working correctly and um, if it's not check your triggers, check that the variables are all listed correctly, that you haven't accidentally selected a, the incorrect variable, check that the trigger order is in, in place as well and good luck. I hope this helped.